Hello there. Plenty to talk about across Europe at the moment. If we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see how much cloud there is at the moment. There's another system waiting in the wings that's going to arrive in from the Atlantic, bringing more unsettled weather. There's another area of low pressure moving through the Mediterranean, which is going to bring some stormy weather as well. Now, sandwiched in between the two, there's some drier interludes. And it's worth pointing out that in the southeast Mediterranean, it's pretty warm still for the time of year, slightly above average temperatures, as you can see through Turkey and Greece. But it will be pretty stormy across Italy over the next few days. There's going to be some snow for the Alps as well. Uh, it's cooler than it should be really across central Spain, into France, across the UK as well. Temperatures struggling in the far north of Scandinavia. It's brutally cold for this time of year. We've seen overnight lows of minus 30 degrees plus. So the story as we move on into Tuesday keeps that unsettled theme. You can see how miserable the weather is going to be through the Alps, through Italy and eventually into the Balkans, bringing some heavy rain. It stays cool and unsettled behind. So London and Paris disappointing. Even the temperatures in Madrid struggling a little over the next few days and it stays stormy into Rome. But it will continue to be pretty warm for the time of year. For Athens, we're still likely to see temperatures into the low to mid 20s. Hello there. The weather story in North America is all going to be about the feel of the weather over the next few days. A cold plunge of air all the way down from the Arctic across the central plains as far south as Texas will gradually spill its way east. But you can see we've got milder weather either side, particularly along the west coast. Really here it stays relatively quiet. Now there is a weather front as well that's going to bring some snow across uh, the northern half of the Rockies, the northern plains as well. But high pressure, the dominant feature. So there's a good deal of fine, dry weather generally across North America. So let's take a look at the contrast between the west and the east at the moment. There's a weather front threatening. It's going to push in from the west, but ahead of it, a little bit of fair weather cloud. Eventually, we'll start to see some rain, but it's a, a relatively dry, settled story. And it's a mild, warm one as well down through much of California. So our city forecasts reflect this. We will start to see that rain arriving into Vancouver, as you can see, but temperatures into the low to mid 20s for much of California. Now, across that east coast, the real cold air not really arriving into New York and Washington yet. It'll be up towards the Great Lakes, gradually pushing into parts of Tennessee and Georgia. Fine and settled, though, so there will be some sunshine to go with it. But if we take a look at the city forecast, you can really start to see the difference with the feel of things. Look at the temperatures in Detroit and into Dallas. That is going to be a real shock to the system. Take care. Hello there. It's a relatively quiet weather story across South America at the moment. Let's start off with a look at the satellite picture. You can see shower cloud around, yes, and it's not particularly unusual for the time of year. So this is where we've got the rain at the moment. We have had a weather front pushing into southern Chile, just the remnants of that bringing a little bit of rain and mountain snow. Some heavier rain really across southern areas of Brazil and then stretching further north, yes, across Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador. And some of those showers just drifting there way a little bit further east into central and southern areas of Brazil. So some of that rain quite heavy at times. It'll also affect Uruguay and Paraguay too. Northern Argentina fine and settled at the moment. Temperatures into the low 20s but there's the remnants of that weather front down to the south still producing a few sharp showers. So this is the story for the next few days. The rain will ease in Rio de Janeiro as we go into next week. Bogota keeps the rain going though. For Mexico, one or two showers across that east coast, the same two through the Yucatan Peninsula. We're picking up some more heavy, persistent rain through Costa Rica and Panama and some pretty intense showers across the Caribbean. Obviously, with the showers, they will tend to come and go and we'll have some sunny spells as well. But that's the tail end of a weather front that's been moving through um, the eastern seaboard of the States. So this is the story for the next five days. Still lots of sunshine to be found. Hello there. Storms in the Mediterranean having an impact across the weather in North Africa. Potential for some lifted dust, as you can see through the Sahara, and maybe some showers across that North African coastline as well. There's our seasonal showers close to the equator. Also got a weather front just making its way through South Africa, just bringing some outbreaks of light rain into the east. Uh, through Monday. So that's the story generally. It does look as though we will continue to see uh, some drier weather into Cape Town with 22 degrees, but those temperatures into the far north of Africa, 
a little disappointing really for the time of year. So let's take a look at that in more detail. The risk of shower decreases into South Africa. We'll see sunshine returning here through the week ahead. Johannesburg keeps some showers. As for Casablanca, while well, the shower thread eases and the temperatures will improve a little, but more showers expected from Friday onwards. Now let's take a look at the Middle East, where here it's fairly quiet as well. Few isolated showers around, but generally speaking, those temperatures into the mid to high 20s to the north, maybe into the low 30s, to close to the United Arab Emirates. So it's dry, it's settled, it's largely sunny. And guess what? That's how it's going to stay over the next few days. So it's a quiet weather story with light winds. And as you can see, plenty of sunshine to look out for. That's it. Take care. Hello there. Storm Bulbul made landfall during the first half of this weekend along the West Bengal coast, then moved into Bangladesh. It's bringing some very heavy rain with it. It continues to track in a northeasterly direction. It's going to move its way into Myanmar uh, through the course of Sunday and Monday. So you can see that quite clearly on our weather graphics. It will weaken off considerably, but it is bringing some localised flooding here. A few sharp showers close to Kerala and into Sri Lanka. We've still got some poor air quality further north, but it's a dry, settled story. Now, for Central Asia, uh, we are starting to see those temperatures falling away in Kazakhstan, so it's going to be a cold feel here. We've also got a little bit of fair weather cloud, but a good deal of dry weather. Fair weather cloud really across parts of uh, um, Afghanistan into Pakistan. Dry and settled across much of India. Further south, we've got those sharper showers I've already pointed out, close to Kerala and one or two into Sri Lanka. But it's a better story across northeastern states, up through West Bengal. It's fine and dry. Just the remnants of some rain, perhaps perhaps into Bangladesh. Now, the five-day forecast shows a good deal of fine, dry weather, with the exception of Colombo, where we'll still keep the risk of some thundery showers. But it does look as though we will start to see a little bit of fair weather cloud into Tashkent, but it will stay dry. Hello there. Typhoon Nakri is about to make a landfall across the east coast of Vietnam and then it's going to continue to track its way uh, northwest, as you can see quite clearly from the satellite picture. And then it will bring some very heavy flooding rains, at risk of some landslides as well, as we see in excess of 300 millimetres falling. Now to the north of that, we've got outbreaks of rain on Monday moving its way through Japan. Behind it, it's quiet across the Korean Peninsula. It's relatively mild for the time of year into Beijing and that dry fine weather extends across China. There it is, Nakri, as you can see, it's going to continue to track its way um, towards Cambodia through Monday and then weaken substantially. So our city forecasts show some rain around, but it's not all doom and gloom. Beijing, though, will gradually get colder over the next few days with a change of wind direction. Now, the winds will ease down in Australia as high pressure drifts east. That's going to be welcome news for the firefighters trying to contain those wildfires. Good deal of dry weather in the forecast, so no significant rain, maybe a little bit of showery rain across Tasmania. Recent fronts easing away from New Zealand, just a few showers remaining into the North Island of New Zealand. But I understand that there is some poor air quality and poor visibility from the smoke from those wildfires drifting towards the shores of New Zealand. And that's going to be the case over the next few days.